Hello everyone and welcome to Cheesy Code. In this lecture, we will see how we can design these screens for our app using linear layout and relative layout. In our previous lecture, we told about linear layout and relative layout. In case you are not aware about these, you can go through our tutorial series and learn about them. So let's get started. Now as you can see, there are multiple icons used in these screens like the share icon, display icon. So before starting off the designing, we have to first download these images. So this is Google's site which provides us the material icon for the apps that can be used freely. So there are multiple icons. Now suppose I want an image of a share icon. I'll just type share. And from here I can select the image. I've selected the size and I've chosen white color and I'll just click on this PNG button to download. Now you can see that my image bundle has been downloaded. So let's see in Explorer. Now if I open this downloaded file, I can see that there is an Android folder. Now inside this Android folder, there are multiple drawable folders which contains images for the different resolution of your app. So you can add these particular images into your RS folder. Let's see how we can use it. Now this is my activity underscore main file and there is a relative layout present and there is no child present in it. So I'll add on the children. But first have a look at the project structure. I'll go to the rest folder and and in drawable I can see few images which I have added from that particular downloaded file. Now as I wanted share image, so I have downloaded it and added to this folder. Now if I extend this area a bit, I can see that there is 5 written in front of every image. Now what's the significance of 5? Now 5 shows that we have 5 different images for 5 different screen resolutions. Now let's see how they are present in the file explorer. Now here you can see my rest folder. 5 resolution specific folder of drawable like this SDPI, MDPI and all. So in my SDPI folder I have this check image and this specific check image is present in MDPI folder as well and similarly in other folders. This shows that for every resolution I have an image present and these images are downloaded from that particular site which I mentioned earlier. So let's go back to our screen. So that's how we handle different images for different resolutions. Now at first we will designing this particular screen. So as you can see on the top these are the labels and in the bottom there are buttons, the check button and cross button. And in between there are two text views. So let's see how we can design it. So let's first handle the bottom part in which there was a tick and a cancel sign. As in the screenshot we saw that both of the buttons were taking 50-50 spaces. So we will be using linear layout to do that stuff. So I'll add a linear layout. And in width and height, I'll give match parent and wrap content. Inside this, I'll add two image button. In this, I'm giving 0 dp for layout width because I'll be using layout bay to distribute 50 50 space to the buttons. If you're not aware of this, you can see our linear layout tutorial back in the series. Now, in the weight, I'll specify one. I'll just copy this image button, create another button. Now since this is an image button, I have to specify some image path to it. Now I'll use SRC and since the images will be fetched from drawable, I'll just write drawable. Then I'll select check white image. It is visible on the screen. Now for the second image, I'll use close image to show the cancel sign. Now as you can see that both the buttons are present on the screen. But we have to push these button at the bottom as per the screen. So here this linear layout is present inside the relative layout. So we can use align parent bottom property of linear layout. And just by setting it to true, the buttons are now present at the bottom. So that's how you can design your UI by using relative layout and linear layout. Now let's collapse this linear layout. Now I'll be designing the two utmost two labels that had score and timer. So I'll be using another linear layout for that. Now I'll just specify width as match parent, height as wrap content. Now inside this linear layout, I'll specify two text views. So here in this case as well, I'm just specifying layout width as 0 dp because in this case also, we need to provide 50% spaces to both of the labels. Now I'll just specify some text to make it visible on the screen and I'll specify layout weight equal to 1. Now for another text view, I'll just copy and paste it and just change the text to score. Now as you can see that both the labels are present on the screen with 50-50 space. 
Now let's change the size of the font because the text is a bit too small. I'll just specify it at 24 SP, the text size. Always remember for width and height we use DP and for text size we always use SP. Now if you remember that in the screenshot the score was coming in the right. The text was aligned to right. To fix this up we'll use an attribute of text view that is gravity. Now I'll set its value to right. Perfect. Now let's give some padding to the linear layout. Now you can see that both the labels are at their position. So I'll just collapse this linear layout as well now. Now we have to design two text views in between. So for that I'll use text view inside this relative layout. I'll just give width as wrap content, height as wrap content. Now to position the text view in center, I'll use an attribute layout underscore center in parent. I'll set it to true. Now let's specify some text to it to make it visible. I'm increasing up the size as well. I'll just give 40 SP to the text. Now let's create another text view. Now this text view will show the sum of the above numbers. So I'll just specify equal to 65. But here's the problem that both the text views are collapsing into each other as both have center in parent equal to true. Now I'll remove center in parent attribute from the second text view and I'll specify an ID for the first text view. Now what I will do is I'll just specify layout underscore below and provide an ID of the first text view so that my second text view appears beneath the first text view. Now the text is left aligned so I'll just use another attribute center horizontal equal to true. So that's how we can design a screen using relative layout and linear layout. Now if you remember in the screenshot this toolbar was not present. Now for this I'll go to manifest folder and open android manifest.xml file. Now here we can see that there is a theme applied that is app theme. I'll just click into this. So here you can see that we have dark action bar present as parent. So I'll just change it to no action bar and save it. Now let's see the changes. Now the action bar has been removed. Now we can remove this blue color as well. Now for this we'll just go back to styles.xml. Now from here I'll just change color primary dark to white. Now you can see that the blue color is also removed now. So that's how you can create a proper screen. We have design code present for this screen on our site cheesycode.com. You can see the code, XML code. This is part of the ongoing series. If you are not following series, you can follow it. So now let's go to this particular screen and let's see how we can make it. Now for this screen, there can be multiple ways to design it. One can be just by using linear layout in which I can just place these three items in a single linear layout and just set the gravity to center and all the elements will be aligned like this. Also I can design this screen using relative layout in which I just place current score in the center and this just math text and the icon as top and bottom relative to this current score. So let me just show you how we can do it in relative layout. So I'll just clear this out. I'll just add a text view. Let me give width and height as wrap content. Now let me provide some text to it. I just give current score colon some random value 30. Now as you can see that it is appearing in the top left corner. So I'll just specify center in parent to make it appear in the middle of the screen. And I'll just increase the text view size. Now I'll just give it an ID txt score so that other elements can refer it for placing themselves relatively. Now I'll create another text view to show just maths text that will be appearing above the current score. So I'll just change the text to just maths. Now it is appearing in the left. So I'll just give center horizontal equal to true and increase the text size to 40 SP. Now I'll give some margin to space them up a bit. Now I'll be needing an image view to show the share icon. So I'll just specify I'm specifying width and height to wrap content and in source I'll take out the path from drawable 
and choose the image share white now as I want it beneath the current score so I'll be using layout underscore below and give the ID of text score that give it center horizontal equal to true as well and I'll assign some margin top as well but till now you won't be able to see it so to make it appear I'll just use another attribute from the image view that is tint I'll just give some color of tint now as you can see as soon as I assign some tint the icon is visible now so that's how you can create a screen using relative layout and linear layout and the most important thing in developing a screen is practice the more you practice the more efficient you will become the code is available at our site you can go to cheesycode.com for that and if you like this video please subscribe to our channel for more such videos thanks for watching